Welcome back. So before we make our first post request, I just want to talk about how we send data in GET request because GET request doesn't have what we call a body inside the HTTP request type. So let me just show you what I mean right here. When we do a GET request, you can send data to the backend. It is possible, but you can only do it two ways. You can do it like this where you put in, for instance, the ID I just showed you guys. So now I'll get back that ID. That's how I can send data to the backend, right? So I can explain I need a certain ID. And you can also send data by putting in a question mark in the end and then actually adding some information here like ID equals four or sorry, three. That's another way to send data. And then if I want to send more data, maybe I want to also send a name. I could just say name equals John like this, right? If I want to send more data, I can do another and and I can say Snurfy equals Burfy. I can just keep putting information in here and sending data to a backend. This is very powerful. This is very powerful, for instance, if you make a query on Google and you want to share it with other people. Let me try and jump into Google right here. So I made a query right here for cheese and I can actually just send this link to any of you guys and you would also end up in the same search for cheese right here. And you would actually be able to get that same exact link. And if you look right here, their link, you'll see again, question mark. Then it put in some query information, some spelling, some blah, 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 blah. There's a lot of information right here that I actually pass to um, Google. Now the problem is that maybe you want to send some information to the backend. Either you want to send a lot of information, so it would be hard to put it up here. Or maybe you want to send some information that's actually not something you want to share with people so they can just copy the link, paste it, and maybe create another customer, paste it, and just refresh, 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 and it'll keep creating customers. Maybe you want to kind of hide the information inside uh, our request. And we can do that by creating what we call data inside a body of our request. But notice you cannot do that with a GET request. There's no body in a GET request. But what we can do is we can do a POST request. And then notice right here actually in Postman, when I do the GET request, this guy's grayed out. So I cannot press the body right here. But as soon as I do a POST request, this guy pops up. And now I can actually click this and I can start adding some data. So that's the difference between the GET request and the other three types we're using, POST, PUT and DELETE. That is that the GET request does not have any way of sending data to the backend except what I just showed you guys right here. But POST, PUT and DELETE has something we call the body where we can send data to the backend where it's in a hidden format so it cannot be read in the URL. It's hidden and it can actually also be transported safely inside HTTPS so nobody can read it unless they hack their way into your system because you might have forgotten some kind of security. So next lesson, let's try and look at the post. But now you know that the only way to get data to a backend with a GET request is by putting it inside the URL. See you next time. Have fun.